Wow. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I started uh, my career as a stand-up comedian, uh, I decided right away that I would need some part-time job uh, just to get me over the hump because uh, this career doesn't pay very well, at least in the beginning. I took a job with an insurance company. Uh, I'd be working in the claims department. Uh, you know that number on the back of your card that you call when you've had an accident or you've been in a claim? That was me. Are you okay? <laughs> Anyone recognize that voice? I must have said it. <laughs> I must have said it a million times. Are you okay? I had to. My boss said, hey, Derek, listen to me. People out there think we at the insurance company, we don't give a crap about anybody. That's not true. You ask them if they're okay. All right, boss. <laughs> Hello, are you okay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, well, let's start with your policy number, sir. That's what I had to do. That's what I had to do. I learned a lot of things, though, working at that that call center. One of the things I learned was how to tell if somebody was at fault or not in the first five seconds of a claim. If a person was not at fault, they cut straight to the details. Cut straight to the details. I was driving through an intersection, buddy busted a, a red light and T-boned me. Straight to the details. If a person was at fault, it would start something like this. Ah, uh, hi. I was driving my car. <laughs> okay, this ought to be good. And, uh, <laughs> It was rush hour. Okay, even better, even better. And the sun was reflecting off my dashboard. I have one of those big dashboards, and it was going right in my eyes. It was like somebody flashed a bulb right in my face. Sir, could you tell me how many people you ran over? Can we get to that? <laughs> that person doesn't even ask if the rates are going up. They just ask by how much. Car claims were easy, though. Home claims were a bit difficult because you never knew what you were going to get. I remember once I got a call from Quebec. Uh, oui, allo? Uh, okay, uh, I've got a deer in my house. Uh, <laughs> am I covered for that? <laughs> no. I was quite proficient at what I did. Eventually, they bumped me up to roadside assistance. I was what they called a, an elite call taker. <laughs> Hardest thing about roadside assistance was finding out where people were. This was before GPS, and uh, that was the toughest part. You had to find out where somebody was. You needed an intersection, or uh, you know, maybe a historical landmark, or a mile marker, anything that would help the tow truck driver get to these people. But sadly, most people have no idea where they are, none at all except people in Newfoundland. <laughs> yes, people in Newfoundland know exactly where they are, exactly. Hi, roadside assistance, could you tell me where you're located? Oh, I'm in Newfoundland, where are you at? <laughs> Sir, could you, you tell me precisely where you're at in Newfoundland? Tell the driver I'm outside Peter Murphy's house. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> I remember one guy called me up, and I'll leave you with this. He, he called me up, and he, he wouldn't talk to me until I answered three questions. Who's the Prime Minister of Canada? What's the capital of Canada? And how many provinces are there in Canada? I got two out of three. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then he said, oh, OK. Well, I guess I can talk to you. I guess you're not in India. And I said, no, sir, I'm not. Because uh, if I was, I probably would have got them all right. Uh, <laughs> let me just say this. Be nice to people, no matter where they're from. Doesn't matter where you are, we're all trying to help each other. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to help each other in our crummy jobs. That's all we're trying to do. So be nice. You never know what the future brings. Maybe the tables could turn someday. You don't know. Maybe someday we'll be taking calls for India. It could happen. Some of your children could get jobs answering the phone, going, thank you for calling the help center. My name's Sarindar. <laughs> don't bullshit me, OK? Your name is not Sarindar. <laughs> no, it is not. No, your name is Tom or Jeff or whatever other honky-tonk name you go by, OK? <laughs> You connect me to someone 
In India, I'm not talking to you, you pasty face white mother trucker, okay? <laughs> Sir, I can assure you I'm in India right now. Don't even try. I can smell the barbecue sauce coming through this phone, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Derek Langvenis. Good night.